Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I am a little tie tie today. I just worked this entire weekend of night shifts and I am just be I'm so tired. Um, but honestly, for being back on night shifts in like, I think my last night shift was that one vlog that I filmed like, I filmed like the day after. I think that was back in July or something. But I've literally been on day shifts for like a month now. And now there's like no day shift holes and ton of night shift holes going into the next couple months. I'm just surprised I'm not more tired and I like slept really good between my shifts, which normally when I'm like switching back and forth, it's a little harder. But maybe my body, after a year of officially being a pediatric med surge nurse, holy shit, that's so crazy to say. Um, I feel like my body has just kind of maybe gotten used to it or understands like the schedule and the vibes now. We'll see. Um, also, it was just my first few nights back, so I'm sure my body was just, like, exhausted and let me sleep. But anyways, oh, guys, worst thing ever. I don't have lip stuff, and my lips are burning. Ah! I feel like my pre-workout, like, makes my lips sting a little, so I like having something on them. Hopefully, Josh has something. He's already here. Um, but anyways, I just pulled up to the gym. It's 8.16. We woke up around 6.30 this morning and just laid in bed together. Um, it's kind of sad. My least favorite part of nights is, like, being away from Josh and not, like, sleeping with him because obviously, like, sometimes with his job, he will work during the day. And then if I work nights and he has, like, busy work days, I don't really see him for those few days. Um, so it was just nice waking up in the same bed this morning and it was so cozy and... Oh, it was just so lovely, but anyways. Excuse me. Anyways, I'm going to go in. I have a leg day today. I'm not looking forward to it. Last week, I did very light lifting. Um, most days, I did body weights for leg days because I was on my luteal phase of my cycle, and it really kicked my butt. Like, I literally did not want to wake up. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to work out. I was in it. But we're going to try lifting a little bit heavier today. Hopefully it feels good. If not, we'll see what we can do. But we're going to do this. And then we are filming a week in the life. I don't know if I've said that yet because I'm just running my mouth already. But we're doing a week in the life. I'm really excited. We have such a fun little week this week. I have so many things planned and booked. We are in the final two weeks before Tay's wedding. So we have a lot of appointments and stuff. And then we have some house stuff and I ordered some things to update our house. So I'm very excited to share a ton of that with you guys this week. And then depending on if they call me in or not, I told them I would help in the NICU Thursday night and Friday night if they couldn't find covers. Um, so I'm waiting to hear on that, but we will see. But in the next few days, I'm excited to share all these things with you guys. And then today we have... We're gonna go to the grocery store. Two, we have to pick our peaches off the tree. They are falling off. They are ready to go. We have just been so busy that it's been impossible to pick them. Last weekend, we did pick some and had some for breakfast, and they were so freaking good. And then Tay came over a weekday last week, and I picked off some for her and David, and they were obsessed. She literally texted me that night and was like, dude, these peaches are bomb. So I'm so excited the peaches turned out. I was really scared since that tree has not had anything in the last two years that we've been there. Um, I was worried that this year it might like produce, but they might not be like edible. So I'm very grateful that they are. Tonight we have Tay's final wedding dress fitting. This is the final one until we pick it up, which is like so crazy. I cannot believe we're here. I like can't even talk about it because I like get emotional. I cannot believe she's getting married in two weeks. I just love them so much. I'm so excited. Um, and I need to keep working on my speech. I'm so nervous for my maid of honor speech. It's like unreal. I can't even get through like the like fourth and fifth sentences without starting to cry. So we'll see. I'm like tearing up just thinking about it. I'm a hot mess around this wedding. It's like, Tay's like literally my little sister. If you guys know, you know. And it's just so crazy that we're in this like part of it. Oh my gosh. I literally am so emotional about it all that it's like so embarrassing so we have that and then tonight claire and taylor are gonna come over and we are gonna watch the love island reunion and i think joshy boy is gonna make us dinner which i'm very excited about 
And then tomorrow I have an entire uh, transformation haircut with my hairstylist. We're doing a styling video and everything. Um, so I'll link all of her stuff down below. And tomorrow night, Josh and I are going to the movies and seeing Coraline in theaters. I'm so freaking excited. My spooky season is basically starting with that and I'm so, so lit for it. And then we have a nail appointment Wednesday and then I left, <clears throat> excuse me. And then again, I left Thursday and Friday kind of open until I find out if I'm going to be working in the NICU those nights or not. So with that being said, I am going to chug the rest of my pre-workout and we're going to head in and start working out because my nose is starting to itch. Oh. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. It's itchy. I ran my mouth too long. I ran it too long. Guys, I am vibing to 90s country today. Oh, I grew up on this music, and so every once in a while it's just so nice to bang out to it. Anyways, I finished my workout, kicked my own booty, um, but I am about to go into sprouts. I'm gonna put my sweatshirt on because I always get really cold in there. And I'm just getting enough things for dinner tonight, and I'll probably do a grocery run tomorrow or something. Um, I just kind of have a lot to do today, and I really want to get a video up for you guys, so I want to prioritize getting home and editing. Oh, guys, one of my Insta besties, Tatiana, just posted that she graduated and passed her NCLEX, and now she's an LPN, a little nurse. I'm so proud of her. Look how cute she is. Actually, I don't know if she wants me to blast her face on her, never mind. Tatiana, if you're watching this, I love you, and I'm so proud of you. I just commented. I'm so proud of you. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna get my little list pulled up. Tonight for dinner, we are making crock pot chipotle pineapple pot roast bowls. Tay Tay is having a chicken egg and she's coming over for dinner tonight. So we're gonna do some pot roast. And I think that sounds good and easy. I just throw it on the slow cooker, which I actually really hope that. Oh, nice. It's a Dutch oven and I have one of those friggin heck yeah okay cool so i'm just gonna screenshot this and we're literally just gonna get i think the meat maybe chopped pickled ginger if they have it because i don't have pickled ginger if they don't i'm just literally gonna use regular ginger and then i need to replace my thai chili sweet chili sauce and i need that and i'm pretty sure ours is expired so that's what we're doing we're just gonna run in and get that and then i might just get a few other things to get us through tonight and tomorrow morning and then we'll go do a full grocery run tomorrow but yeah i just want to update you guys i'm sweating bullets i'm also gonna empty out my workout bag with my stuff because i like literally you guys cannot find anywhere my like little brown trader joe's bags like i truly have no idea where they went and like in my life like i don't remember like bringing them somewhere and like not using them and like i'm I always put them somewhere in the house and I always when I'm done I put them right away in the drawer or I throw them on the floor by the drawer so that they end up in it and they're not anywhere so I'm not really sure what the freak I did with them but hopefully we find them because I'd be so sad those bags are like so easy for grocery shopping.
have a video uploading. I'm so excited. Josh is home. Um, I'm just wearing this cute little overall outfit today. I got these from Free People. Can you guys see that better? I got it from Free People last October, or actually I think I got it like before October, maybe August or September. But they're so cute. David calls them my MC Hammer Bands because the way they uh, scrunch at the end, but I think they're so cute. And then I styled my bangs because today is my final day with long bangs. And I feel like the long bang was the vibe for the summer, but I'm definitely ready to go back to more of my like mullet vibes. But it's 125 and we are gonna go outside and pick some peaches. I'm so excited. I'm getting my little tripod ready because I wanna show you guys the whole process. And then I have all of these guys too. We'll just bring this outside with us, but we're gonna put the peaches in all of these. We have a lot of peaches. We'll see how many are actually edible and usable with squirrels and everything, but very excited. Alright you guys, this is how many peaches we ended up harvesting and there's more over here. Um, we were not expecting to get that many, some of them looked pretty bad. But we're hoping we can obviously freeze some, keep some for ourselves and then we're gonna put some together to bring to some of our family and friends and I'm so excited. We have, also a storm is coming in, that's why we're wrapping up. We have some more up here that look beautiful and perfect. We just can't reach them, so we're gonna see if there's a tool we can get from Ace or something tomorrow and finish it. And then I need to talk to my neighbors because so many fell in the yard and I feel so bad. And then I also just wanna see if they want the peaches on their side. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do with you? What are you doing? Are you gonna be all messy now? Is it nice out here? Where's the wat? Oh, here she is. My mom may help us. Say, I'm chasing bugs. Are you bug hunting, sissy? Hi, big girl. What's she doing? Hi. That's my baby. You playing out here? We have to go inside. It's gonna rain. Sorry, I'm smacking you in the face. Hello. What are you doing out here, big girl? Marble is so cute out here. Oh goodness, you helped us get some peaches? Protect us from the bugs? Oh goodness. Also, before we go in, here's a pumpkin update, my little pumpkin patch. They're coming in so freaking fast. It's literally crazy, they double in size like every day. And I'm just hoping and praying we actually produce some pumpkins out of here. I think that would just be the coolest thing ever. Could you guys imagine if I had a pumpkin patch in my backyard? Like, let's be real. Like, how spooky of me. Wow, daddy broke you a good branch. That looks good. We have some jalapenos getting ready to go. Oops, sorry, I didn't know that was for you guys. But look at these jalapenos. Babe, look at this one. Holy cow. Ooh, that's a good one. They're so good. But... These took forever and then out of nowhere, they just start going crazy. Our peppers, so far we have two. Um, I think they're struggling a little bit. Again, it's been so hot this summer and it's been hard, but there's some flowering and stuff. So we'll just kind of have to see. 
we planted or we already picked our tomatoes we have one more growing and then a few more starting but she's looking a little sad we cannot keep it watered enough i wish we had like a built-in watering system for this stuff how do you feel about our peaches so we're excited. gonna say it good at peach recipes because <laughs> we got a lot oh my gosh you guys i cannot believe we got that many peaches anyways we are gonna go pick up Tay's dress. I think it's like a final try on and then we're leaving with it. I can't believe it. It's crazy town. But it's 2.34. I'm gonna head on down there and meet Tay there. And then we're both gonna come home here and then her and Claire are gonna come over and we're gonna watch the Love Island reunion. I'm so excited, you guys, and I'm so nervous. I'm also really curious to see the interaction between Aaron and Kayla. That shall be fun. All right, we're gonna be like five minutes late because of traffic, but that's okay. How do you feel about picking up your dress? <laughs> All right, we are home from getting Taylor's dress. I'm so excited. She looks so good in it. They did so good at the alterations and I I just can't wait to see it all come together. It's gonna be very exciting. Um, it's 4.10 now. Josh got dinner started for us while we were gone, thankfully. Um, so that's roasting in the oven. And then we still have the sauce to make, I think he said. So we'll do that in a little bit, but Tay's on her way. We both have some work to do. So I think we're gonna get on the couch and put a little movie on. And then I'm gonna get a video uploaded for you guys. And then she's gonna do her own work. And then I think... We should be good until dinner time to just hang out and chill. And then at 7, Claire's coming over, or 6.45, Claire's coming over, and we're all watching the Love Island reunion at 7. And then that will be our night. And I'm kind of thinking I might see if Josh wants to go get some, like, vanilla ice cream, and maybe we can do some, like, peaches and vanilla ice cream, like, bake them. That could be yummy. Mm, it does smell good after. It's very sweet. Very sweet smelling. I like it. Happy Tuesday. Josh and I slept in a little bit today. Marvel was basically like having a newborn. Last night she was up in my bed clawing and bugging me to get under the sheets like every two to three hours. You got her in. Yeah, I got her in. Bribed the vet the fatty with some food. She loves it. Um she's clearly being a pain. We just had to bribe her with food to come back inside after going where she knows she's not allowed in the yard. Anyways, I have my hair cut in a little bit. I'm doing my whole mullet vibe again. Um, that is at 1025, so we'll probably leave here a close to like 1010 for that. Um, so I'll need to start getting ready around like 940-ish. Um, and then, and I'm just gonna do my makeup and change clothes because I'll probably shower tomorrow or later because she is going to wash my hair and stuff there. Oh, maybe I'll take a quick body shower. That might be nice. Actually, no, I want to do that before bed because I'll probably get gross today because we're going to be building a ton of furniture. Yes. Um, we got a new coffee table and a new end table. I really do love the look of these ones, but I feel like because I changed so much that they don't match as much. Like I changed the rug back to this one and stuff like that so I feel like they don't match one two the glass is so annoying to keep clean and like it literally makes me ill to not be able to like like to look at it and just see constant streaks or hair or like little water drops from cups it just like drives me crazy and then also like 
Josh and I like to like lay our legs out on the couch and sometimes if you're not careful because there's nothing that like it sticks to you can tip the glass up so we're gonna keep it maybe use it for like style in our office um, that way it's not like super used but it still looks cool somewhere we're gonna try and build our side table and a coffee table that we got first I think we're gonna start the side table move to the coffee table and then we can fill this up and then I did for this little area, I got a little chest thing that's going to help us store like wine, extra wine glasses, and then it's going to free up some cabinet space in this cabinet so we can have some more like stuff in there for like games and blankets and extra stuff. And then it will also free up some of our cab cabinet space for cups and stuff. So just fun things, more things to decorate. We love, we love, but I have an hour before I need to start getting ready. So I'm gonna get it all out now. Josh is gonna make us breakfast and then we will see what we can make of everything and I'll show you guys kind of the process and then I'll show you guys how everything looks afterwards. I'm home. This is my hair. I'm so excited. Got some of our mullet vibes back. I'm so happy. I feel like myself again. I you guys saw what I wore in the clips and stuff. It was just a denim vest, black pants, and some red Steve Madden sandals. I just switched back into a t-shirt and shorts though because I'm about to help Josh build our coffee table now. And then we're going to work on our little chest to put over there as well. So just wanted to update you guys real quick. We're going to work on this and then... I'll show you guys how it looks. I'm so excited to have this all set up and I'm excited to see what it looks like with all my table decor on it. Is it pretty easy? Yeah, I got it. Guys, I need to tell you, if you're in Colorado and you like cool hair or just normal hair, you need to go to my friend Kelsey. I will link all her stuff below. Obviously, I share her a ton on Instagram, but she is the most personable, relatable, genuine, kindest person I've ever met. And I... Literally don't even feel like I'm going to get my hair cut by a stylist. I just feel like I'm gonna go hang out with my friend and I just she also happens to do my hair And I think you guys should check her out and yeah, I love her. I just love her so much I like want to hang out with her more. I'm like sad that our point I went our appointment. I was like, this is kind of sad. I want to hang out with you more I have to be always
been a little bit. Josh and I had to hurry up and finish building our third item. I don't even know what to call that. Dresser? Oh, wait, chest? there's a word for it. Um, uh, it starts with a C. It's like crescenda, credenza, credenza. That, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we finished building that. And then um, I'll show you guys that tomorrow, but we had to run off because we had to go get a parking pass for an event we're going to tomorrow. It's like um, the BMW Golf Championship, Championship that. Um, and so we had to go get a pass for parking for that, like kind of far out. And then because we were going out there, we decided to drop some peaches off to Josh's mom and then also to his sister and brother-in-law and their two little girls. Um, so that was super fun and exciting. And I'm, I love that we got to pass out our peaches. like. I'm geeking over, I'm very excited. That was so fun and everyone was so excited about them. So um, we did that and then we just ran home, fed Sven, got a blanket and stuff and we are gonna go see Coraline. They have Coraline in theaters right now and I'm super geeking over it. And I'm so excited, it's also gonna be 3D. I guess I don't need my glasses, I'm gonna take these off. Um, oh, I but it's 3D. Yeah, it's 3D. <laughs> I'm so excited, so we're gonna do that and then we're also just gonna get dinner there because we really bamboozled ourselves with our time frame today. We did so, so much today. We, we did so we much. We have time to do dinner. Yeah, so it, it's, I'm excited. I will not, we love movie theater food, so say less. But anyways, just wanted to update you guys because I did kind of a bad job there this evening, but we'll pick it back up tomorrow. And then I think I'm gonna make a little TikTok reel of our little Coraline date night as well. But I'll try and get some vlog clips as well too, so. Oh, I love that little dog. Did you see that? He was like a little rat. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys either after the movie or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. I didn't put my camera on the charger last night instead. All right, you guys, it's Wednesday. Josh and I just got ready. We're gonna go to the BMW Golf Championship. I'm just wearing this Fabletics like little golf skirt I have with this like Fabletics like white tank top. And then I have my navy so active little raincoat. I thought the navies matched a little bit better, but they definitely are very different navies, but that's okay. And I'm just wearing it with some cute little socks and new bounces. And that's the vibe. I'm gonna vlog the rest of the day on my phone because I don't even think any of this kind of stuff would be allowed, but I'll have my phone at least and I will get and share what I can. It is 3.31 in the afternoon. We have had quite the day. We went to the golf BMW thing. Today was just like a practice day, so we kind of like walked the course, saw a diff few different players hit. Um, we saw Justin Thomas, we saw Peyton Manning, Gabriel Landeskog, Gabriel, I've never called him Gabriel, Gabe Landeskog. <laughs> um, who else did we see? I got to see Rory McIlroy, that's my favorite golfer, so that was really cool. And then we got to see a few other players like Wyndham and stuff like that. And then we got to see a few of our friends that happened to be there as well. So that was really cool running into everybody. But it was fun. It was really sweaty and hot. And it was just cute seeing like the little kids play and um, ask for autographs. That was like so cute. I just love kids and their innocence. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It was good seeing friends. And yeah, I wish we were going on a day where like they were actually playing. But see la vu. Anyways, it's 3.33 now. I'm, I just pulled up to my nail salon and Tay just walked in, so I'm gonna go walk in and meet her. I have it read now. I'm actually gonna ask her. She was supposed to look and see if she had like the name of the color to this because it was just a number one. Um, oh my God, excuse me. That burp like got stuck, but I will see if she does. I'll put it on the screen here or I'll put it down below. 
I don't know what color I'm gonna get to be honest like I kind of burnt out on like all the colors I was gonna get like a fun lime green again because I got that last year and it was fun but I don't know I might just get a neutral but then I'm getting a neutral next week because Taylor's wedding or next not next week next time we come because Taylor's wedding so I want neutral nails for that so I honestly have no idea but we we will see I also chewed them a bit last night because I was having a little bit of anxiety so hopefully she can make them look pretty again but here's the full four I'll show you guys the after when we get out sorry I'm really dead right now I'm just like so tired that sun today hit, hit me hard I'm excited to go home and shower and lay down that's for sure What is today? Today is Thursday. Congratulations, you guys. We made it to Thursday. I finished my nails last night. I just got this green. Um, my nail tech forgot to check the color, so I don't have the red for you guys. Ew, I have hair all over me. Um, but I just did a lime green. I did this um, last year in like the end of September, and I thought it was really fun, but I remember being like, oh, I kind of wish I got this when it was still like summery out. So that's what we did. But anyways, I got a cutie package from my management group. And it came with like this little air freshener. Mmm, that smells really good. I am gonna put that in my car. I was actually gonna put it in Josh's, but because he doesn't have anything like this, but he left before I could, so I'll put it in here. And then I'll ask him when he gets home if he wants it. Um but yeah, anyways, last night. I literally, my cramps, everything was so bad. I was just about to explode and cry and have a mental B. So after my nails, I literally came straight home and got on the couch with Josh. And we just watched, he watched um, Ozarks, that like Jason Bateman show. And then I watched, wow, I really need to learn all these. I edited my um, little peach video real tiktok whatever you want to call it and posted that and then we watched chucky because it started really thunderstorming out and so we watched a scary movie and he's never seen bride of chucky which i think is one of the funniest scary movies ever created so i made him watch that but that was last night <laughs> nothing special we were pretty beat from the golf thing so you know no big deal but I'm about to go to Michael's. I need to get some stuff for the rest of my peaches I'm delivering to all of our other friends and family. And I think my sister's on her way now for her lunch break to pick hers up. Um, so that will be super, super helpful. And then I have some extra cat stuff and dog stuff for them that they're going to take as well. Um, from a collab brand deal UCG thing I did the summer. But I'm going to go grab these boxes and then pack up my sister's peaches. And then hopefully I'll have time to pack up mine and my friend Claire's. Because then I can put mine away that way. Because they're going bad really fast. Like really fast. So I need to like freeze them and get them ready for that. And then I'm going to get Claire and I Chick-fil-A for lunch. And then I'm going to bring her to lunch. Have lunch with her and bring her her peaches. So... Yeah, that's the vibe. It's so hot out and my hair is like so wet still at the ends and it's very uncomfy dripping, but we're gonna head to Michael's now and then we'll go from there. Work with me today, guys. I'm on my time of the month and it's really, really bad one this month and I am just pushing through. All right. These are all the peaches that are left that we're working with. There's still a lot more that are on the tree that we need to get. We just need a tool to be able to get higher up. So we'll have more. So I'm putting and giving most of these away to my little brother, my little sister, my friend Claire, and my friend Gabby. And then if there's anything left over between these and then the ones that we still have to pull off, we're going to bring some to Josh's Nana as well. Um, but yeah, this is everything that's left. We already gave my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law some. And then I packed my friend Claire's because I wanted to do a little tester of these little bows that I had in my head last night to do. Um, give them like a little fall-ish twist. I don't know. I thought that'd be really cute. And then Michael's was out of the rest of the brown ones, so I got the rest in black. 
So I'm going to tie bows on the rest of these, or at least my sister, since she's on her way here now. And then pack up her peaches for her and her girlfriend. And then maybe, probably after that, I'm actually gonna have to grab Claire's and run. And then I'll try and finish these three when I get back for my brother and Gabby. And then I guess the actual one's for Nana, which I guess we should maybe wait on Nana um, just to see how much we have left. So we'll just set hers aside over here. But we have my brother and Gabby, we have my sister, and then we have Claire. So I'm gonna work on this, and then hopefully by the time Ricky gets here, it'll be all done and ready to take home. She has some peaches to take home. This little pile too, if you're wondering, are the ones that are like kind of dented already or are just like the skin's kind of like peeling off. So I'm just gonna uh, cut these up and freeze them for ourselves. This one actually might have to go in the trash, but um, yeah, I just didn't wanna make these messy ones someone else's problem. <laughs> been here in a while. Hey vlog, I'm, I'm, I'm still been. alive. Um, like, like, I've been here in a while. I'm a uh, mirror. <laughs> She's got her peaches, some extra kitty stuff. All right, y'all, I am at Chick-fil-A now. I'm getting Claire and I some lunch and then I'm gonna bring it to her with her peaches. Look how cute. I think I showed you guys how the black ones turned out, but the brown is so much cuter. I wish I had more brown, but the black was actually adorable too. My sister liked the black more, so. I just did a tiny bit for Claire. She's only one person, so I figured she could freeze a few and then eat a few. And I'm gonna ask her whatever she doesn't, if she thinks this, that this is too much. My brother-in-law lives in the same building as her. So I'm gonna text him when I get there and see if he's home and I can bring him up some. Um, I figured he's a single lad. He probably only needs a few anyways, so that could be nice. But yeah, that was so fun seeing my sister and catching up with her. I love her so freaking much. Let me grab this. They're totally going to see my camera. This is so embarrassing. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you too. All right. You guys. Chick-fil-A in hand. We are going to head to Claire's. Eat some lunch with our bestie, Bill. Drop off our peaches. All right, guys, I'm home. I'm just gonna get these two guys ready to be picked up and out of the way. And then I am going to cut up and freeze all of these ones. These were the ones that I told you guys that just had dents in them or were already like the skin was coming off or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. And then I do have a pile left I just want to wait and see if Josh thinks we can take him to his Nana tomorrow or if we think that we should peel her off some more off the tree and then I don't know we might be able to give another thing away to someone but Gabby's coming over tonight I'm really excited they um, grow zucchini so she's bringing me a zucchini and I'm giving her peaches so I just love the little trade-off I'm also just really excited to get these put away all right, all I have right now is Ziploc baggies and like the sandwich kind. So I feel like I should clean these. I'm gonna clean these first. As far as cutting them, I think I'm gonna do them sliced up. I think that would be nice for like smoothies or if I wanna pull them out for like to make a cobbler or something. And then there's a really cool hack that I saw a while ago. And basically you take a peach and you freeze it and then you grate it on like a cheese grater and it's supposed to be like really yummy. And I think you can put it over ice cream or you can put it with itself and put like a little mint with it or something. And so I have that. So I think I'm going to cut 
maybe some of the bigger ones in halves and then we can grate those if we want to do that as a treat and then yeah basically just sliced because I feel like I want to I feel like I'll use the sliced ones more so maybe I'll do like four total to do the grating thing with and then the rest will just slice and dice but I'm very excited Ooh, maybe I should dice them up too and then I could like always keep them for like a pie or something I feel like diced would taste better in a pie I don't know we'll see what I come up with to be honest I have no idea almost five my little brother just left he got his peaches my brother is actually a little bit more like me in the sense of like he likes to bake and cook and stuff so I'm excited to see what he ends up choosing to do with his peaches and what he decides to make out of it um, but that was really nice being able to see both my siblings today I feel like the older you get the harder it is to I guess see family and spend time with them and I don't know it was just really nice being able to see them I honestly don't think I've seen them since June, so it was very, very nice. But anyways, I do not have it in me. I'm like trying to figure out what the hell I can do from dinner for dinner here tonight. I think our only option is looking like spaghetti. But um, guys, my period is so bad. My cramps are so bad. I feel like I could vomit any second. Like my, it's making me so nauseous, the pain and the cramps. So hell i don't know i have no idea nothing sounds good i low-key want a popsicle last night i made josh give me mcdonald's all like all i all i wanted last night was just one plain cheeseburger and so that was my dinner and i had some of his fries and chicken nuggets but tonight i'm not feeling so hot tonight i have to admit to y'all not feeling too hot i really just want a sodi Maybe a chocolate bar. That sounds good. Yep, that's about it. That's about all I got in me. Anyways, it is starting to storm now. I think we're about to get a pretty gnarly thunderstorm, which we had a really great one yesterday. So I'm hoping that it turns out to be one. But I am going to... I don't know. I might sit down and watch some Law & Order or something scary on TV. <sighs> I really don't want to read and my other option is I'm thinking I might just lay on the couch on my phone maybe edit some reels and stuff that I've been trying to have time to edit and then play some Greta Van Fleet on my record over here that's my other option but <sighs> these clouds are looking real dark and scary and I'm feeling like a movie might be more fun I don't know you guys. I also changed it to my full set. I only have the pants on earlier, but I put the sweatshirt on because it got cold. Uh, I also have to wait. My friend Gabby's coming at seven to grab her peaches and give me a zucchini, do a little garden trade off. So that's like all I have for the night. Josh should be home in like the next hour or two from golfing. And we were going to have a James and the Giant Peach date night tonight, but I just do not want the food that I had planned for that. And I really don't want to have to go grocery shopping, especially now that it's storming. My brother took a little bit longer to get here than he did. And then he originally said, so I haven't, I had to wait for him and I didn't know his ETA. So now that I waited, I waited a little too long, but it's fine. We'll do that tomorrow night. I don't think we have anything tomorrow night anyways, and I'd rather just kind of chill and... 
I'd swear on my life I might make him pick me up a cup of noodles from King Supers on his way home. I think that sounds so good. That's like my favorite nausea dinner, especially with night shifts, so we might do it. But anyways, okay, slow down, sir. This is, this. there's children on this road. Anyways, I'm gonna go sit down, I think, and we'll just see. Sorry that the end of this vlog has been so freaking boring. Are you scared? You wanna watch a scary movie? Do you wanna watch a scary movie? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. You wanna cuddle? Oh, see, I love cuddling, don't I? You love cuddling. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see Uncle Matthew today and you saw Auntie Brooke? You got to see all your friends. That's so nice. I love that. Oh goodness, I love that. Oh yeah. yeah. This is like all I do. I just sit and talk to Sven and Marvel all day. I'm surprised they don't speak English yet with how much Josh and I actually talk to them. Like they're real people. Yeah, you good boy. I love you. All right guys, I just changed into some sweats. I'm probably gonna wear the rest of the night. Ugh. I just mold CSU sweats from our glory days. But anyways, I got this cutie little ghost guy from TJ Maxx. Actually, no, I found him at Marshalls. I found him at Marshalls and I've always wanted to try out one of these. And I was like, why would I not get a ghost one? So it basically just comes with like a little rice thing that you microwave with some water. So I just set both of these in and then on the box it tells you uh, based off your wattage how long to put it in for and then it says to put it in with half a cup of water and then our microwave actually sucks so our wattage is so much lower than the ones they even offered so I have to double it so I just do almost two cups of water and I do hot water because I find that works out better. Ugh. But you just set, ooh, that was a big thunder. You just set both in here. I'm glad that we pushed back our James and Giant Peach night because Josh just texted me that they got a rain delay. Nice, nice and warm. Here. 